A judge in the southern United States has raised the ire of rights groups by making this deal with prisoners. Get sterilized and receive 30 days credit towards your sentence. Judge Sam Benenfield of Tennessee offered men free vasectomies and women Nexplanin implants, a form of long-term birth control. Benningfield says the move will prevent children from being born to drug addicts, but the ACLU has slammed this idea, saying such a choice violates the fundamental constitutional right to reproductive autonomy. Well, joining me now from Nashville, Tennessee, is attorney David Randolph-Smith. He's a partner at David Randolph-Smith and Associates, and from Washington, D.C., John Lott. He's the president of the Crime Prevention Research Center. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. David, if I can begin with you, 30 days off your jail time if you submit to sterilization. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I think it's clearly uh, unlawful and unconstitutional uh, and unethical. Um, basically, this issue was decided when the Norplant contraception came on the market in the 90s and there were a series of judges and judicial decisions that went to courts of appeal that held that it was unlawful. So I think this is simply a, uh, a court order waiting to be ruled unlawful. John Lott, unlawful, unconstitutional and unethical, says David. What do you think? I definitely don't think it's unethical. Uh, here you have individuals who multiple times have been convicted of drug offenses and more importantly multiple times been unable to go and provide child support. They have a certain sentence that they've been sentenced to, and if they agree to essentially birth control, for women it's just uh, an implant for birth control uh, that can be easily removed at some point in the future. And for men it's a vasectomy, which can be reversed also in many cases. But it's voluntary on their part. There is a sentence that they've already been sentenced to, and it's to deal with the fact that these people are having lots of kids and not providing support for them. Yeah, but is it a Faustian bargain for these inmates? I mean, do they have much of a choice? And, you know, many of them might want to get those, those extra days out of jail, right? Um, fundamentally, at the, at the core of it, is it, yeah, is it a they, decision? They... Sure, is it a decision that certain people should be deprived of their ability to procreate because they committed crimes? That's why people say this sounds like eugenics. Well, it's, no, but it's not, it's not for crimes generally. He's not going and saying, if you go and commit rape, we're going to let you out if you go and get uh, uh, you know, birth control here. He's saying those who, just those who aren't paying child support, who for multiple times have been paid child support, you know, ha have drug problems, can't find jobs, keep on having kids and not providing for them, essentially making the government have to go and provide for those kids, that in those cases alone, that uh, if they agree to take birth control uh, or, or have a vasectomy, that they will be able to be released early. So otherwise, they'd be in jail for an extra month. Okay. So it's not... It's not uh, okay. So, Sam... Uh, so, David, rather... Well, I mean, Sam Benningfield has made that argument. He said it's very specific. It's repeat drug offenders who can't pay child support. It's, it's no more, no less. Do you buy any of that? Well, uh, no. Uh, going back to the first point, uh, th there's no voluntariness to this, uh, nor is there any informed consent. As I say, uh, there are risks to vasectomies, there are risks to uh, uh, implanted hormones, uh, contraception, uh, and you know, there's no doctor who's, he's basically practicing medicine without a license. And the AMA came out against this when the Norplant, same issue, and said it was unethical. The ABA came out, American Bar Association came out against it. Uh, courts and four uh, Supreme Courts held it was unlawful. Uh, and, and it's not just for uh, child support or uh, people who are having multiple children. It's for all offenses. It's a, it's a standing order that would apply to simple possession of drugs. So there, there's no, uh, it's not only unethical as a, a, a no, no informed consent, but I think that if a doctor performed a vasectomy, and I don't think any have been performed yet, by the way, I think that doctor would be violating the informed consent of the patient because it's under the coercive situation where you have to choose between prison or jail time uh, and getting out. 
and 30 days can be a very a significant okay. sentence to someone who okay. uh, doesn't have a lot of money. So, uh, again, there's no legal anyway. support they for this. You can't cite. You can't cite any. You cannot cite any medical authority that would have, that would support this. And as I say, the issue's been decided. We have case law that holds that this is unlawful, unconstitutional. It violates the uh, fundamental right of procreation, the right of privacy, and the religious freedom of people who are opposed to contraception. So it's totally Look, indefensible. If, if, it's if ludicrous. You, John, and, and, worried, and it will be struck down. If you're worried about people not being informed, I don't know if this is Phil, but if you're worried about people not being informed, then you can make sure that the judge is properly informing people of what the medical downsides of it are. It's not, that's not an insurmountable option, even happening. if it was true that they weren't being informed. Now, I'm just saying it's very easy to fix that and still allow to have the policy, even if your assertion is correct that these people aren't being informed. And it's not obvious to me that they're not. But even if it is true, it's easy to fix with it and still keep the policy in place. Well, that's not happening. And even if it, but, but even if that did happen, even if you had a doctor in the courtroom explaining what the risk of vasectomy and what the risk of uh, Nexaplan was, inserting this in your arm for three years and the hormonal uh, effects of that, even if you had a doctor in the courtroom, it still wouldn't be constitutional or lawful because you're forcing people to make an involuntary coercive choice to choose between jail and contraception or sterilization. That's not lawful. A judge can't but, say, I'll give you a lighter sentence if you have sex with me. This is the same thing. It's unlawful. No. John Locke? No, but a judge can go and reduce your prison sentence if you agree to community service. He can reduce your sentence for lots of reasons. I was yes, with the a judge can do all. There's all sorts of ways. There are all sorts no, of no, things true. That Absolutely a judge true. can, a judge can say, go out and return. take the trash and out. So what is the difference? No, no. Right, so the judge can do all those things. Is that coercion? It's unlawful. Then? I mean, look, the a person would have spent one more. A judge can do all of those things and has great power. Right, and so why is this any different? It's not. This person has a choice. This is, if you it's wanted, a, in if other you words, want to have the doctor read all the risks that are there. But fundamentally, John, I mean, just, just fundamentally, is it, I, don't you see that some people are saying, these people committed crimes and therefore the authorities are trying to do something to push them to not breed. They're saying that certain people shouldn't be breeding. That's where the eugenics argument comes up. Can't okay, you see that? Correct. I understand if that was the case, but this judge has been explicit that he's using it in cases where somebody's had many kids and not been providing on multiple occasions child support for those kids. And the question is, why, why should everybody else in society be having to pick up the cost for raising this person's kids? It seems like a perfectly reasonable thing. He has a certain prison term. He can get it shortened. Some judges will shorten it if you do community service. Some judges will do it if you take out the garbage, to use David's example that's there. This judge is saying if you agree to birth control here, then uh, we'll shorten it by 30 days. Okay, David, final word. What's, I mean, I, I but, get... But see, that's... The, the pro, you're right, a judge has all this power, but you can't do something unlawful. And my example would be if the judge says, if you have sex with me, I will shorten your sentence by 30 days. A judge cannot do that. Why? Because that's unlawful. It, it's a due process violation. Well, the it's judge is benefiting problem. directly from Here, that. It's a due process. Well, well, I mean, I'm just saying the, ju the, the judge... judge the judge cannot impose. That's not a good example because the judge in that case is biased. Yeah, but uh, where you where you disagree, John and David, is where David said there's a right to reproductive autonomy and bodily integrity, which is folded the into the fundament can make that fundamental decision rights anyway. of privacy. Right. That's where that's where you differ. But they have. A I've got to move on, but it's been good having both of you on, David Thank Smith you. and John Lott. Thank you very much.